welcome to video number eight, the Draw This Again Challenge. My mom requested I redraw three of her favorite pieces I've done. This one here is the Spari Reef. I unfortunately couldn't find the reference for one of the other old pictures, so I decided I had to do just the two instead. So Spari Reef is an ecological system on my main world, Alpha Vetar. It's a tropical reef there. Every animal and plant in this artwork, the original and the redrawn version, is a species that I invented myself specifically for Saspari Bay ecosystem. Saspari Bay is primarily a series of shallow water tropical reefs and islands. The people here are made up between land dwelling as well as various types of merfolk. The main type of merfolk that lives here are the Saspari Bay merfolk, as you'll be seeing in this painting. If you looked closer at the original painting, which is a very large acrylic work from 2012, there's a lot more diversity than what I did in this one, simply because it was so very busy and would have been an immense amount of work to recreate. I decided to zoom in a bit and do slightly fewer species and details. Working things out here digitally in Procreate, I decided to take away the rays of light because there weren't rays of light visible in the original and some photo reference of quarries I've seen don't necessarily have the rays of light in them. So I decided for clarity to remove them in this case. Here I'm going through and drawing various animals in with the coral or unmoving animals in the background. There's also a few species of plants. The green leaves and red leafy looking plants are actually meant to be plants rather than plant-like animals. Adding in various species here, this is a species of stingray with large spines all along the back. Called the golden stingray, this common species lives in this entire region on Alpha Vetar. It's a bottom feeder that varies in different shades of creamy gold, brownish gold, to brilliant gold. Here I'm beginning to sketch in the mermaid in the picture herself. I switched the tail around when I decided it didn't look as good and I wanted the silhouette to look better. I was working out the basic shading, shadow, and shape as if sculpting, and here I duplicated and flipped around some of the spines on the arms and the back. These spines are very lionfish-like, with a central core of a venomous spine and a trailing, thin area of skin attached. The hair of this type of merfolk is very thick and is in fact not hair at all, but thick dreadlock-like tentacles. In fact, the Saspari Bay merfolk are completely hairless. Anything that looks like hair on them is in fact something else. The eyebrows are markings, as are the eyelashes, which are just very dark black markings above the eyes. So if she closed her eyes, you'd see them as a separate marking. But while they're open, they look very similar to eyelashes, for appearance's sake. They are part fish, part mammal, and are a magically created race. And I don't want to get into all the details of the origins of Vetar. This species of merfolk also has very large rounded eyes, slit pupils, no claws in the hands but webbed fingers, and has very smooth, small scaling over most of the body, but not parts of the upper body, and slightly larger scales on the tail. They're also pretty slimy, so slimy all over and very smooth and sleek in the water. Here I'm working on adding more details in the background and layers. I'm using texture brushes and adding in more shadows and I'm going in and adding more individual species of fish. I duplicated and modified slightly a couple of the fish here in order to save some time. This species of fish is the Chumbara fish. Feel free to ask me questions about any of the species of animals in this painting or the original one which has even more. This fish I'm working on here is the Surugal fish. In a minute I'm going to put a little bit of thin blue over top so that it's not quite as vibrant, but later I actually make it slightly more vibrant again. It's all a case of adjusting colors. I flipped it because I thought it would look better if everything wasn't all facing the same direction. In the far distance, I'm now working on a species of common jellyfish on Alpha Vetar. And in the far distance, a very large Saspari Bay sea serpent. I originally was going to include the Nyalaka, which is the mer deer or mer antelope from the original picture, which is a particular species which was the very first species I invented, in fact. However, I thought it would make this painting look too busy, so instead I included the reef salamander. It's a plausible thing that an amphibian could adapt to salt water, although none currently are. So here I made up a species of salamander that lives on coral reefs. I'm fairly happy with this painting, but not completely so. So I think I might be trying the Draw This Again challenge again in about a year and make another YouTube video about it. 
I am, however, very proud and happy for the entire ecosystem of Saspari Bay that I worked on. From the plants and non-moving coral animals, various invertebrates, crinoids, fish, amphibians, reptiles, jellyfish, and everything else that's a part of the bay, including dragons, magical creatures, including merfolk. As I said, a whole ecosystem, which includes animals very similar to ones found on Earth, as well as ones that are completely fantastical. Here's the finished piece. I'm still happy with it, but I think it could be better. I came up with the Saspari ecosystem in 2012. Here I'm working on the next piece. This piece is the one I'm the most proud of of the two I did for this video. The original piece is just called Tigress, and she's a barmaid at a magical bar on a fantasy world that I did in 2012. This was the best artwork I did in the year 2012, and it was actually far ahead of its time based on the other artwork I was capable of doing, and was the best thing I'd ever created digitally up to that point. Of course, that is arguable, because I did do a few other good pieces that year, but in general, my mom thinks this is the best, and it's definitely one of my favorites. So I'm going to go with it being the best one, because this video is dedicated to her. As well as it's one of the pieces I still feel is worthy to sell artworks of to this day. For some of the bottles here, I saved time by duplicating and modifying them slightly, while others I completely painted originally. I'd done a bunch of different colors, and I stole colors from the original picture to use to help make this one more easily. I also did several lineups with guidelines during this piece in order to keep things more similar. I, however, did decide to make Tigress a little bit larger and the bottom of her foot slightly cut off. Originally, I drew her legs a little bit too short in the new drawn version, as well as I seemed to choose to make her slightly curvier than the original. I also made her eyes more proportionate to her head, but eventually moved them slightly wider apart than the original line right here. In a moment, I'm gonna fix the leg, which is a bit too small. There, that's where I fixed it. Selecting around the lines, then filling a full layer underneath for flatting. But I had to go back around and erase up to the edge of the lines because of Procreate selection tool for some reason selecting slightly outside of the lines rather than right up to the edge. I filled in all the different areas with flat colors, as you can see, before going back in to do shading. I did a slightly more complex style of shading that is painted in, but also more closely resembling cell shading, just like the original picture. I didn't overcomplicate things too much. I also went on the line art layer, which is a layer above, and alpha locked it in order to paint over just the lines that it already put in place. This is extremely helpful in Procreate to allow one to do color line arts very quickly or to only paint and draw where one is already drawn on a particular layer. The other major change is that I moved her tail completely. The original picture's tail position was actually not very good, but I think the silhouetting on the new one with the tail down lower making an opposite curve to the feather in her hair is actually much better. Having an opposite curve down low on the page to the large curve up high with the feather works a lot better than the tail being around the midsection. I also adjusted a few other small details to make it something I would like slightly better than the very original version, though the tail's the biggest difference. As a strong woman in charge of her own sexuality, she works as a dancer and singer as well as a waitress and bartender at this establishment. She's meant to be essentially adjusting her costume before doing a dance performance that she has just finished a new routine on. Well, here's the finished painting. I hope that you enjoyed this video. There will be more in the future, and if I can ever find that other painting I was going to do a draw this again of, I think I will do that one as well. I hope that my mom also enjoyed this video as this one was dedicated to her. Please look forward to more videos in the future. The next one coming up is going to be a tutorial for sure new videos every Wednesday. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye!